Welcome back, folks, to the VIA pinstriping page. Um, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching. So today we're going to be doing part two of the scroll pinstriping basics uh, videos that I'm planning on doing. Um, today we're going to be using one shot. Um, it's a very old batch of like dark green that I have. I, I don't know if it's called dark green or forest green because um, I, I put it in these plastic bottles a long time ago and I lost the can. And we're going to be using the Steve Kafka number one scrolling brush. At the moment, this is my favorite brush, and I've been using it for almost every design that I've done, like in the past year. So, this has been the one, if y'all are curious. <laughs> Shout out to Steve Kafka for putting out all the amazing work and being a big influence. Um, <clears throat> so, today we're going to show um, something, I kind of like to call them figure eights, even though they're not figure eights. I have no idea what this stuff is called. I don't know if half these things even have names, but it's, you know, let's give it a shot. I'll let you know what I'm talking about here. So, on the last video, I showed how to do just loops, right? Just circles. You do them one way, do them another way, and try to be able to get fluid going left, right, up, and down with these circles. Well, on this one, I'm going to do something else, which is another move that can help with the scrolling designs. So you're gonna start, you're gonna do a semi-circle. You're gonna come around, you're not gonna cross it, but you're gonna go back in. And then you do the same thing. Go around, like you're gonna close the loop, but then you go back into the line. <clears throat> now, when you get to these sections that cross, there is an opportunity to push down if you want and create a thickness to that line, which gives it a nice effect. And also, in doing that, it sort of re reloads the paint to the, to the tip of the brush as you're going, so you can sort of get another loop or two in if you wanted to. That's something you can incorporate if you want. You do not have to. <clears throat> so I'm going to show that again, but I'm going to show it going now this way. So I'm not going to say we're going to mirror image it, but we're going <laughs> we're to try here. Now, I got the camera in my face. I'm going to do the best I can. So you go around. You cut back through. I'm going to push down to show that. Come back around. Don't close the loop. Come back through. Push down. And give it a nice swooping tail. <clears throat> so again, it's almost like you're doing a circle, but you don't complete it. You stop, you start to go back into the line that you came through. So I'm going to do one going downward. So I'm going to start like this. All right? Circle. Come around. I'm going to stop there. All right? Come around. Tighten up that little loop. Come back this way with it. All right? I'm going to push down. Come around. Now I'm going to do another loop. All right? And I'll stop here just to show you. We're not going to complete that loop. We're going to come around. Go back into that line. And you can do this as many times as you want. Right? As many times as your brush will allow. I'm working on some paper. This is like legit just paper, so it's not not very conducive to doing uh, pinstriping on. <clears throat> so 
So you can always go back and clean up your lines, which I suggest you do if they don't look right to you. All right? Something like that. So again, you learn how to do them one way, you practice them until you're really good at doing them one way, practice them going downward, practice it going upward. So what we went this way first, then we went down, so now let's go this way. So I'm gonna start right here. Go around. Right? Cut through. Do the same thing. Right? So, I mean, I say figure eights, but I don't, I guess they sort of look like figure eights to me. Again, I don't know what the hell else to call them. You don't have to do that that many times. Um, you can do it once and end it, or you can do it many times if you'd like. But these are just moves that you can practice um, as tools if you want to get into scrolling. So here I'll show you one that doesn't do two loops because we got one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm going to show you what one looks like. I'm going to go a direction I haven't gone. So let's see, I started this way. So let's start this way this time. So let's go like so. All right? Go around. You do not complete the loop. You go around like that. And then you can just end it within itself. And there you go. Now here, my brush kind of skipped backwards when I push down. So I can always fix that. Put a little bit of paint there. And there you go. <clears throat> now, the cool thing about these um, these swoops here, these lines, these, these things that intersect the long parts are kind of anchors for doing other things with the design. For example, you can do these, um, I think uh, Steve Chaseka calls them repeaters. So you can do things like this, right? Just little teardrop shapes that hang off of here. See that? That's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is you can do, uh, for example, another swoop that looks similar, almost like an S shape, right? So, another swoop, right? And off of that, you can build more loops. All these are just anchors. You don't have to add anything to them if, if you, if you want to just keep them simple scrolls. They have an elegance to them by themselves, I think. But, <clears throat> you know, you start building designs, they start to get a little bit more complicated. That is uh, s some things that you can utilize in order to build up the design. So let's see. We've gone this way. We went up on this one. Let's try one going downward and try to mimic this one. I eventually, you can try to do these mirror image things. Uh, try to see how close you can get to it. You know, if you have a grid, it makes things easier to get closer. Um, that way you know how far out you've gone, how far down you've gone. Uh, that's only if you plan on doing a symmetrical, a symmetrical thing. Um, <clears throat> You know, if you're doing these on one side of one car and then you're going to go out and do the other side, let's say you're doing door handles, they don't have to be 1,000% perfect. It is hand-painted, but you want to do your absolute best. <clears throat> now, let's see, we've gone this way, we've gone that way. Uh, let's try going up with them, all right? Again, you want to be proficient every single which way because with scrolling, it really does go everywhere. It, you know, you're, 
you're not just pulling down lines as you would with traditional pinstriping. Uh, traditional pinstriping designs is mostly just pulling and pulling. Even even when you're doing circles, you're still pulling. With this, you're at some point you're going to be pushing the paint upward, which is totally weird compared to the uh, other style. So let's try going upward, right? So I'm gonna push down real fat here at the beginning, All right? So go around, make your loop. And once you get to the top, you cut back into that line. Go around, make your loop. When you get to the top, cut back in your line. Always try to intersect with the last loop if you can. Like I'm not coming out here and doing it. You can, but it, it, they look a little bit separated when you do them like that. I always try to make sure I cut into the previous loop. You see, it's at least crossed in a little bit. What that gives you is that gives you these really nice crossing points. It's almost that, like, if you can, have these nice wide open crossing points. And by what I mean by crossing points, like, I'm going to draw two lines here, just real quick. All right? When you're, when you're developing a, a design, if you can, always try to cross... You know, at angles that are at least that wide, right? Try not to cross at angles that are, say, this 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 tight, because it, it it's it just it doesn't look quite as good. So I, I don't know if you can tell, but here it crosses at a at a a decent X, right? It makes a pretty wide crossing point. Most of them, see. I don't know if you can tell. <clears throat> so, and that's that. Again, you know, if you want to, if you want to add more to these, you can try adding some of them loops that I showed on the previous video. So, let's say I just put like a teardrop shape next to this one, right? To give it a little bit of more meat there, and we'll kick out two loops coming back, right? So, one. two loops and so on and so forth I mean it's endless you could do whatever you want with this always keep in mind you want to stay on the very 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 tip of the brush I mean the absolute tip of the brush if you consider how thin some of these lines are getting I mean that really shows you that I am not pushing down I'm not getting into it like that I mean it's the very 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 tip of the brush absolute tip and that's how you get nice thin lines um, you know when I push down obviously I'm getting deeper into the brush when I push down but with scrolls you want to stay on the very tip of the brush while you're making the turns so sorry for the mess hopefully this helps again you go around you do not do the full loop. You cross back into that line. Right? You're almost making these. They're almost like paisley looking things. I, I don't even know if that's the word. Are they called paisleys? <clears throat> Anyways, you end up with these shapes right here, right? Boom. Go around. Boom. And you can do that. I've seen it all completely down cars. Where instead of doing lines, they'll do this big fat line. Like scroll section of scrolls where they're just doing these what I call them figure eights all down the car look super cool so um, hopefully you dig that um, I hope everybody's being safe right now with this stuff going on and maybe this will give you a nice little distraction something to practice um, <clears throat> I will have a bunch of products in the description uh, those will send you to a link to Amazon um, anything you buy off of them links, which is officially Amazon, it's just going to send you to Amazon. Uh, I do get a small commission if you buy anything. You don't have to buy, clearly, <laughs> but it does help the channel. It does help me to keep the lights on. Just wanted to put that out there. And uh, it's a great way to show your support. 
So uh, have a good day. Oh, and I got t-shirts on my Etsy page. So I'll try to put a link up for t-shirts uh, for my Etsy page. I've been trying to um, sort of get a little brand started and see how that works out. So I don't know. Just trying new things in the new year. Trying to move up and forward. Much love and respect to you people. Have a good day. Bye-bye.